applied mathematics, so I'm an engineer still, um, and I've been working on the statistical aspects of the Piper project. So that's what I'm going to present. So now, if we look at the anthropometry predictor tools that we have, so they are based on uh, anthropometric databases. And uh, so we generate uh, the targets for deformation that are used in the um, uh, body section or uh, a scaling constraint module. So now the, um, we have two main types of uh, databases. So one is for adults, so this is the Answer database. So we have about 4,000 uh, subjects in it, and um, there are more than 100 measurements for the uh, anthropometric measurements within it. So for children, we have a similar uh, database, which is a Snyder database, which has about the same number of subjects and um, about uh, uh, 90 uh, measurements. Uh, so these two um, databases, they are subsets of uh, the, the original full uh, data that has been generated by the uh, Ansur um, research and by uh, in the a, s a publication by Snyder, and this subset has been selected by the University of Michigan. So now for Snyder, uh, there is um, maybe a bit less uh, measurements available in the sense that uh, there are some main measurements that are available for all the children that have been uh, um, measured, and some of them are uh, only measured on a few subjects. So we, have, uh, we are tr dealing with this uh, with a set of uh, uh, slave measurements and main measurements for 26 uh, measurements on children. So you get an idea of uh, uh, what's available in terms of measure. So these are the main uh, anthropometric databases used in the uh, anthropometric uh, module. So now this is uh, extendable or compatible with other data sets. So for example, in the project, so we have um, uh, obtained uh, measurements for the CT scan provided by CESAR and uh, a increasing size database has already been integrated inside the tools. So if you want to use other databases, this is something that would be possible. So what do we do uh, in the anthropometric uh, module? So we, uh, sorry, we start from uh <coughs> some predictors and then from these predictors, so you can predict other measurements uh, on the body. So now both the predictors, so BMI, for example, shoulder circumference and so on, and the uh, measurements of interest that you have chosen inside the database that you are working with. So there are targets uh, for the deformation tools uh, that uh, have already been mentioned and will be discussed later. So the so anthropometric um, database, so this is based, uh, anthropometric tools are based on one particular database. So how do we generate uh, the measurement of interest from the predictors? So this is done uh, by building uh, regression. So if you look at the samples uh, from the database, so these would be the, uh, the blue crosses here on right and left. So in this example, uh, this is a regression uh, for uh, uh, two inputs, so stature and BMI, and then you, you are just looking at uh, one particular measurement of interest. And uh, so this is projection of a cloud in 3D uh, on the stature and BMI. So now what we built is a linear regression, multi multiple linear regression. So these correspond to the uh, green crosses. So this is in three dimension. So you would get a plane that goes through the data, the 3D uh, cloud of data. And so the uh, green crosses are the points uh, on the plane. So this is a projection on the plane of the stature or the plane of the BMI. So if you look at um, what the plane would be uh, for the mean value of BMI when we vary the stature, so we get the, this green, uh, sorry, red line that goes through the points. So now the difference between the regression that we build, uh, so like the green uh, crosses and uh, the actual measurement, so this corresponds to the regression error. So we get uh, the kind of mean of the measurements that we integrate in the model, and then we get these regression errors that are also part of the model. So now, in principle, you can use uh, any combination uh, of predictors and uh, measurement of interest that you want. So this is something that is left to the user. Uh, we work in the, um, uh, to generate this data with principal component of the data. It's maybe uh, less relevant for a user. 
So what can we do with the regression? So you have the choice to uh, prescribe the value of the predictors. So you can, for example, fix the BMI and the stature of your subject. And, or you can sample these values. So if you look at the uh, cloud of data, so you could say, I just want a user that has kind of average value of stature or something that is sample within this cloud. Same thing for the BMI, so you can do that also. So now for uh, the measurements of interest, so when you generate uh, your, the results of the, your anthropometric uh, measurements, so you can do also two things. So either you look at the mean of the model, so which would be uh, looking at these green dots. Or what you, so this would be something deterministic. So once you know the stature and the BMI, you just know that you are on the plane at these green dots. Or what you can do is also sample uh, among uh, the, all the subjects within the population. And so you will get some variance. And this is also available in your sample. So if you predict the predictor and you just look at the mean, you will always get the same target results. Uh, if you take samples for the input, so BMI and stature, so you just say, I just want a subject with some BMI and some stature that are children uh, age uh, 12 to 14, for example, then you will get uh, random or sampled values of the input. And you can also get sample uh, if you include the regression error, so the variance among the same population for the same values of the predictors that you ch have chosen or sampled. So for example, if you sample uh, the, uh, the same um, regression that I showed on the previous uh, uh, slide, you will get uh, these points that correspond very well to the original uh, data from the, the original database. <coughs> so now, in practice, uh, the regressions are evaluated for a particular population. So for example, you may only be interested to female or male, or you may always uh, only be interested in two children between 12 and 14 year old. So now what we do then, uh, in order to generate the population, you choose a criteria that you want to work on. So like the uh, height, for example, age or gender. And then uh, you choose several criteria for the population. And then you define uh, different groups in your population. You could have 20% of uh, female in a given range and 80% of uh, male, for example, in your population to generate the regression. So this is following uh, a work that has been presented and uh, used uh, at uh, University of Michigan previously. So we do a sampling of the population. So the codes for anthropometry, so they are uh, developed in Octave and MATLAB. They are quite flexible. You could develop something else, or we could develop something else. Uh, this is linked to Piper tools via the anthropometry module uh, user interface. And Mathieu is going to uh, show a demonstration uh, right now. <coughs> So now this is the first demo of the Piper tool. So as you see, the wonderful user interface, I find. Uh, so you see the uh, anthropometric uh, module uh, with the A here. So you can do that. So you can see that there are um, uh, red dots that indicate the things that you need to do in order to generate your target files of measurements. So the first thing, you generate the target from, you built a new regression, for example, or you could use an existing regression if you had one already saved. Then you define uh, which data set you want to work with. So as I said, the two main data sets currently available are in the user interface are uh, Ansur for adult and Snyder for children. Then you select the variables that you want to work with. Uh, what you do in practice, you select what the predictor is in this list, and then all the other measurements they will be used as measurement of interest. Then you select your population. So you can, at this stage, you can select, for example, one criteria. So you would just say that you work with male and in a given range of age. Then you, tar you define which kind of target you want to sample from your regression. So you can either use only the mean. So these are the green dots in the plane of the regression or you could sample the outputs and so on. So if you just take the mean, you get this. For the input, same thing. You can fix the value of your BMI or, uh, or not, or just sample it from your population. So if you get the fixed value, uh, then you define the predictor of the value in the case where you want to predict, uh, fix them. So the BMI in this case would be 19, for example. 
So what's going to happen is that now we are going to generate a regression and some uh, actual measurements and targets uh, for the deformation tools. So you can define where you save your regression when you save your target file. So in the case where you generate just one value, so if you fix the value of your predictors and you just look at the mean, you will just get one file. If you sample from the predictors or if you consider uh, the variance, then you may get several files and they will just be um, numbered by an increment uh, using the same name otherwise. So you generate the targets, uh, it takes a few seconds, I think it's about 20 seconds on this computer, and then you will generate um, uh, the target files. Uh, which is um, an XML file that contains the values of the target, describing what, what they are, and so on. <coughs> so now you will get uh, other information coming out here. So you see when you, you select your population, so you want to make sure that you get subjects uh, in order to build the regression. So you don't want to take children from uh, zero to zero age and not get any subject. So this gives you, in this example, you get 500 uh, about 500 subjects, so you know that's kind of good number to get uh, a good uh, regression. So it takes three, three seconds to get the results, and then the, uh, just show very quickly. So the target results, so these are uh, the XML output. So you can see that the prescribed BMI is saved as a target, and then all the other measurements uh, in this case, so they are the mean values of the model for this particular population.